Hello, everyone. Uh, it's your... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> No problem. Hello, everyone. It's your host, your friend, your boy, Jeff Black, the one and only here with... Me. Kratos, a.k.a. Selexus, and we're going to be doing some more AI Dungeon 2. Some more AI Dungeon 2. We're doing more Ultimate Volition. This is part four, I believe, of our Ultimate Volition series. Are you hyped, Kratos? Definitely. Ballin. Um, so the new scenario that I've created, um, based on what we talked about at the end of the call, it's 2v2, one human player and one AI player per team. Uh, but there's a lot of customization. So we're going to get to like name our teammates and describe what our teammates look like. Do you have the trump card <laughs> sentence fixed? I do have the trump card sentence fixed, but only for this scenario. All the other scenarios, the trump card sentence is not fixed. All right, cool. Okay. Um, so my appearance, I look like a man with uh, red dreads, an eye patch, um, a hmm, nano carbon fiber kimono. When you just spell fiber completely wrong, it's such a simple word to mess up. Uh, a nano carbon fiber kimono, um, and um, supreme flip flops. Make it look a little silly. Um, and now, oh, I gotta enter my teammate's name. Uh, my teammate. Uh, let's pretend like my teammate uh, is Winslow. Uh, unofficial crossover. <laughs> um, Winslow looks like um, uh, Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Because he does sometimes. He has the outfit for it. Okay, uh, and now I'm entering player's two name, uh, player two's name. Uh, you're gonna go with Selexus, right? Yeah. All in. Uh, enter player two's teammate's name. Um, uh, Nick. Nick, what? So it's like unofficial crossover. Me, but I'm also Jet Black, so it's like me <laughs> and, and me. Um, what will you look like? Um, I'm shrouded in darkness, so you can't see me. Okay. The leader of the purple team looks like he's shrouded in darkness. Ooh, looks like a mysterious figure shrouded in darkness. Okay. And then what does uh, the second member of your team, Nick, uh, what does he look like? Um, he looks like you. Okay. Uh, the second member of the purple team looks like a dark clone of Jet Black. Ooh, maybe like a dark and zombified clone of Jet Black. Like evil, like twin kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, describe the battlefield. Uh, you can choose this time. Okay. Both teams are fighting in a video game world that is a combination of the hmm, greatest video games of all time. Hmm. Okay, um, here we go. So I have a really interesting way for us to pick what our abilities are. Okay. All in. So, real quick, if you go to the superhero wiki, go to the search bar and just type the word fire and tell me how many options it gives you for like the search results that pops up. Like don't hit enter, but like how Google has like the autofill for like the rest of your search query. Let me know how many options it gives you. It gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay. So 
what we can do is there are six elements, earth, water, wind, fire, light, dark. You roll a die, and that determines which of those six elements you pick. Then you roll another die, and when you type in that element's name, because all of the I, I tested out, every single one of those elements gives you six results. So you roll another six-sided die, and that determines which one of those search results you pick, you have to pick as your ability. So I guess I need to document then, like, the number set. So which one is one, which one is two, which one's three, et cetera, et cetera? I just sent it to you. Oh, you sent it to you? Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Cool. So each power is two die rolls. Yes. Okay. Um, I guess document all your rolls and everything so we can keep track because we're going to want to put everything in the world info since all the characters have names. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, so that would just be for you and me. For our teammates, we can just have a random page determine their abilities. Oh, that's interesting. So you're like, it's not going to be for everybody like that. Okay. Right. Just for me and you. So my first roll was three. I'm going to do all my rolls first. First roll was three. Second roll was five. Next roll. So total, there should be six rolls. Five. Six rules. Oh, right, right, right. You're right. Yeah, the second rule was five. Oh, my first one was three, five, and then my next one was five, three. Then I got two, and then my final rule, <laughs> five. I get five a lot. Okay. Me too. I've got three, three, one, five, five, five. <laughs> Sounding like passwords out here. Let's see. Wind, but I need to grab the fifth result of wind. One, two, three, four, five. Window manipulation? You son of a bitch. <laughs> you, you guys aren't ready for this window manipulation. I can't tell if that's better or worse than the being an expert pilot. <laughs> I could steal the plane. Fuck, if I knew this, I would have picked a place full of fucking windows. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So light. Uh, the third light ability. Let me check the Light manipulation, light generation, archetype, lightning bruiser is the third one. Fuck is that? No, <laughs> the ability to embody the lightning bruiser archetype. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> the user is a lightning bruiser, a type of fighter that combines both sturdiness and strength with maneuverability. That's so specific. Sure, I'm a good fighter. Okay. <laughs> lightning bruiser. Some of the stuff it has is actually really crazy. Like, Lightning Bruiser has, like, different levels, and they're, like, peak human level, enhanced level, supernatural level. They have stuff where it's, like, you can run at, like, so many miles per hour and shit. Like, if you wanted to get into Lightning Bruiser, it's almost like a power set within its own right. Well, there you go. Let's see. And then, um, 2-5. So, what's the second element... Uh, water, and then it's going to be the second to last result. Ooh. Water absorption. Okay. Cool. And now I need to add all this shit, and I don't even know what some of it is, like window manipulation. Like, I'm going to have to, like, Google it. <laughs> the per oh, damn it. Is it really you just, the user can, oh, you can create windows? Thank goodness. Uh, like, if you can't make the windows, it's going to be a bitch. Create shape and manipulate windows, combining them as needed and moving them with telekinesis. Oh, that's way better. Okay. Yeah. So I got... <laughs> I got wind vision. 
So the user can project wind blasts from their eyes. I've never heard of that. <laughs> like being able to shoot wind out of your eyes, that just seems so odd to me. It reminds me of magic vision, because I also thought that was pretty odd. So I can shoot wind out of my eyes. I have earth attacks, so I'm basically an earth bender. Now, what do you mean when you say you have earth attacks? Does it just mean that you can attack by manipulating the earth? It says the user can release slash use earth and earthen materials to attacks of various shapes and or intensities, either projected, used as part of, as part of a melee attack, etc. Okay. Look, applications, earth ball projection, create and launch spheres of earth, earth beam emission, release beams of earth, don't know what the fuck that is. It'd be like, like what a is pillar a pillar kind of thing? No, like literally like a blast, like a beam of light, but like earth. Right. I'm thinking it'd be like a like you'd shoot like a big ass pillar of earth out of your hand kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, earth blast, earth bolt projection projection, earth bomb generation. Create create bombs or slash explosions of earth. I like that. By manipulating internal pressures and forces. Earth, okay. earth, earth breath. <laughs> I'm spitting dust, I guess. Um, and then my third ability is light darkness beam emission. So once this can fire beams of both light and darkness at will. I like this one. The user can project concentrated beams of light and darkness of variable size and range, capable of destroying large structures in or areas and greatly damaging anyone caught in the blast range. Hmm. Various size and range. And I'm going to say it can fire powerful beams to emphasize the fact that it's like is it, you're not a flashlight. <laughs> Just see. a little laser pointer. <laughs> um, before we roll for the other guys, I need to try and uh, finish my shit because I still don't know how to describe Lightning Bruiser. Um, <laughs> a fighter that combines both sturdiness and strength with maneuverability. I guess that's I what do, I'll put. I do find it odd that of six abilities, there are only six results on each one when you, t or sorry, of six attributes, there's only six uh, results when you type it in, and we needed to roll six times to get our abilities. I'm not too surprised. You notice that, uh, like, a happy coincidence kind of thing, and then we made a system based on the coincidence. It'd be crazier if you didn't know that was a thing, and then you implemented the system based off of absolutely no reasoning, and then it happened to work, kind of thing. Well, that's kind of almost what happened, because I wanted something to be based on the elements. Like, I wanted us to have, like, specific abilities based on elements directly. And from there, like, the math just checked out perfectly. Okay, this is raw as fuck. Um, water mm -hmm. absorption... The user can absorb water in all its forms from the atmosphere, bodies of water, or living creatures while removing it from the source into their body and use it in various ways, gaining some sort of advantage either by enhancing themselves, gaining the drained power, using it as a power source, etc. Nice. Doesn't matter where I put the location at. <laughs> Get water from anywhere. Let's see so now we have to deal with um like our teammates yeah but those ones are really easy right i mean we still gotta write all the shit well sorry not we i still have to write all the shit down so it's still like, this is dang it's, okay oh no you're shade. it's not shade it's just, it's just accurate I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay so my my teammate got mind summoning Meteorology intuition and meta power negation. How oh, the fuck? So Nick can negate <laughs> superpowers. Any, the ability to negate any or all powers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Cool. What were the other ones that he could do? <laughs> the other ones literally don't matter. <laughs> no, tell me what the other ones are, though. Well, one is stupid, at least. Meteorology intuition. The ability to have innate knowledge of the atmosphere, atmospheric phenomenon, and weather. I can Fun sense that he's absorbing water from the atmosphere. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I know when it's going to rain. <laughs> There's an innate awareness of meteoro meteorological events. But the mind summoning thing, the power to summon anything from the mind. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said mine like an explosive. He can summon anything from his mind? Yes, and he can negate any power. Okay, my teammate is overpowered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I gotta pull up Winslow. Winslow's first power, supernatural wits. The users are glaringly, obviously, and super unnaturally wittier than other beings in their universe because their capabilities are beyond the natural level, making them immensely <laughs> clever and enabling him to effortlessly adapt to new changing situations while keeping cool at all times. Imagine if that's the only ability that my that my teammate chooses to negate. <laughs> Goodness. No, you can't even have your wits. Supernaturally witty, allowing him to adapt to any situation while keeping a cool head. Um, that kind of reminds me of one of the characters from Tower of God. He kind of has, it's not even like a power, that's just like what his personality is like. Water strike. The ability to use water to power a strike. Ooh. That kind of goes hand in hand with my water absorption thing. Yeah. Does water absorption say that only you have to absorb the water, or can you like put the water power into other people? I absorb the water, but then it says that I can use it in various ways. Cool. So you could like absorb the power and then transfer that to your teammate. Mm -hmm. To increase his water strike until my powers get negated. You know, can use water to enhance his striking attacks, or I guess just to say to enhance his strikes. You want know, to say striking attacks, and then a uh, random page. Let's we'll set it up. Knowledge deity physiology users with this ability either is or can transform into a knowledge deity, a god or goddess in mythology associated with knowledge, intelligence, education, wisdom, or science. My boy is supernaturally witty, and he's like, I'm the god of knowing things. <laughs> so, witty Athena. He is the god of knowledge. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of cool, how it goes hand in hand. And Dude. isn't water like you? Isn't water usually like known as like the intelligence uh, element? It can be. I'm not sure if I've heard that before, but I'm not surprised. Oh, man. Well, this is gonna be um, maybe not super interesting. I guess the goal is kill Nick. <laughs> I'll send you that code. Um, also, I'm going to read the blurb that the AI generated. You are in a 2v2 battle in the Ultimate Volition Tournament. You are on the blue team. Your name is Jet Black. You look like a man with red dreads, an eye patch, a nanocarbon fiber kimono, and supreme flip-flops. Your teammate is named Winslow. Your teammate looks like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. You are facing off against the purple team. Seluxus is the leader of the purple team, and their teammate is Nick. The leader of the purple team looks like a mysterious figure shrouded in darkness. The second member of the purple team looks like a dark and zombified clone of Jet Black. Both teams are fighting in a video game world that is a combination of the greatest video games of all time. Each member of each team possesses three superpowers, one offensive power for dealing damage, one defensive power for protecting from taking damage, and one special power to use as a trump card. Whichever team wins this death battle will be rewarded with one wish. Before the battle begins, each team must present themselves by sharing their names, abilities, and reasons for joining the tournament. You begin. I am Jet Black, and I joined the death battle to save my love. The mysterious cloak man expresses his condolences for your loss. Her name was <laughs> Lena, 
and she was murdered by the savage vampire named Nick, who obviously joined this death battle for power. <laughs> My teammate definitely does sound like a savage. I like that so it was... Is like, a vampire. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I like that the game like had me start and gave me a reason. Um, right. I guess I'm gonna. And my, and my team is good cop, bad cop. I'm here like, oh, I'm sorry for my, or I'm sorry for your loss. My teammate did that. Oh, true. You're right. That is interesting. Um, I'm going to say, um, I have the powers. Well, I guess I have the following powers. Because we're supposed to share our reasons and our powers and our names. And I've already shared my name and my uh, reasons. So I have window manipulation. Um, fuck, what, are, what were the other two that I... Uh, it's funny that that's the one I remember. Um, oh, yeah, lightning, bruiser, physiology, stupid-ass <laughs> name, uh, and a water absorption, the actually, like, kind of cool one. And water absorption. Um, you then step aside and allow Winslow to share his name, powers, and reasons for joining the tournament. We're already 21 minutes in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I am known as the Winslow, and I joined the death battle to gain the knowledge of the ages. The cloaked man seems impressed by your team's abilities. You may enter through the door on the other side. No, you gotta keep talking, Winslow. You didn't share. You shared your reason and your name. You gotta share your powers. And I'm pretty sure he already has the wisdom of the ages. Like, literally. He Maybe. is the wisdom. Maybe there's more knowledge that even a god doesn't know. Um, the knowledge god doesn't know. Yeah, secrets beyond secrets. Um, <laughs> Winslow says that his powers are, and then I'm going to let the story like fill in, because he still hasn't actually said what his powers are. Known as Master of the Arts, Storm Manipulation, and Water Bending. Uh, no, no, maybe Master of the Arts could be the name of the wits thing. That's fine. Water bending could be the water strike thing. That's fine. What the fuck was his other power? Oh, knowledge. Maybe Master of the Arts is knowledge. That makes sense. The fuck storm manipulation. I'm just going to edit that to be like supernatural wits. Everything else I think was kind of right. Now, it would be kind of an interesting concept for the AI to lie about what its actual abilities are. Nah, because then later the AI will be like, I said it, and it'll try to actually make a storm. <laughs> it's your no, move, that's, my dude. That's what my teammate can do, because he has the mind summoning. True, the mind summoning guy straight up could just say, my powers are whatever the fuck I want, and then he could just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's my turn mm -hmm. you and your teammates turn to like go over like your name reasons why you're in the tournament and your abilities do, 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 do. don't forget to set your thing to story also, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. That way they'll be able to enjoy this as well and so that they'll be able to submit their cool ideas for scenarios for us to play in the future in the comment section below and in our Discord. Just make sure that, that your scenario that just make sure that your scenarios are safe for work and that they have defined goals so that they can be easily speed ran. Or I guess speed run. I don't know what the what the tense should be of that. Um, anyways, um, if you guys have ideas for fighters that we can go up against an ultimate volition, you can also submit those in the comment section below and on our Discord. Uh, give us a description of their appearance, their name, uh, let us know what their three powers are, and uh, tell us why, you know, they're joining the tournament. 
I'm glad that I have like some beef. There, there already are higher stakes here. Right. If I'm wearing Supreme flip flops, is he wearing Gucci flip flops? How does this work? Maybe he's wearing closed toed shoes. I'm trying to figure out like what's the dark reverse of my outfit. Maybe instead of wearing an eye patch, my zombified version has like those hooks that like hold your eyes open. That'd be pretty creepy. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my boy Seluxus. Now, I know you guys didn't forget to do that, right? His, his channel link is in the description box below. You can click on the link to his channel, check out his AI Dungeon 2 content, and, you know, smash that subscribe button. You already know what it is. If you like seeing him here in this video doing AI Dungeon 2, why wouldn't you like seeing him there in his videos also doing AI Dungeon 2? And since I'm shouting people out already, uh, Winslow's kind of here in a way. Check out his channel, Empire of Eternia. Uh, he does AI Dungeon 2 sometimes. He should do it more. You should go to his channel and tell him that he should do it more. Uh, he'd love to hear that. And make sure you check out my teammate Nick's channel. Make sure you watch his videos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, well, based on our current like time trajectory, right? I imagine that we're gonna have at least enough time to do like one or two more after this one. I'm very curious to figure out what we're gonna do to spice, spice, spice it up. Um, Dang it. Ooh, is everything all right, my dude? Yeah, I just didn't know that you, you have safe mode on, so I can't curse. Oh, shit. Uh, so safe mode can be tricky to fuck with. Sometimes when safe mode restricts me from doing something, it'll do this weird lock where I'll try to backspace and it like prevents me from backspace. So I gotta fight with it. And I'm like, but you said I can't say it. So why are you like back? Like, why can't I backspace? It, it'll get really weird. Yeah. I believe in you, Kratos. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, also. Oh, I missed the last thing you said. I said, I know what you mean. That's whack. It is indeed whack. Um, one thing that's interesting, uh, AI Dungeon 2 recently was like, yeah, we're going to have like a strict mode, a medium ground mode, and like a explicit mode where you can do like whatever. I've tried to change to explicit mode in the past. And it like wouldn't let me like it would say in my settings like yeah you switch to explicit mode and then you go to like a not safe for work prompt and it would go uh 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 what are you doing strict modes activated so it seems like a lot of people got locked into strict mode or at the very least i did um but i kind of like it because i am on youtube like there are limits to what i probably should do anyways But that does yeah. mean that uh, a lot of the popular prompts I kind of can't do. Because uh, you'd be surprised how much of AI Dungeon is uh, pretty lewd. A lot of the top prompts that will come out will be like, hmm, that fox girl sure has big bazongas. Crazy, right? Hit it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think Kratos' character is going to be like? Right now, he's typing out his intro, but we haven't seen it yet. So you reveal yeah. your thoughts on his intro uh, before it even happens in the comment section below. And we'll read them later and be confused. Um, also... Do you think that this is going to lead into like an epic battle where Jet Black gets revenge for the death of uh, his girl Lena um, against Nick, his like zombified vampire clone or whatever? Um, or do you think Nick's just going to negate everybody's abilities and go hard? There we go. 
So Luxus says, my name is Sol. I am here to make the world a better place. I can blast wind from my eyeballs, control the earth, and blast beams of light and darkness. This is my teammate, Nick. He doesn't talk much. He is here because he wants power. His powers are whatever the duck he wants, and whatever the duck he doesn't want you to do. He also knows when it'll rain. <laughs> okay, I did like that. Nick waddles over to Lena's corpse and begins to abuse it. Wanna play dead, Lena? Your entire team is offended by this mockery of your beloved. You announce that they should use their superpowers for evil instead of good. Why would I say that part? They're already evil as fuck. He's playing with your dead girl. Who's here? I, that's wild that she's here. They won't let me use the word fuck, but <laughs> they have no problem going to abuse a dead corpse. I like that, that he waddles over to like, <laughs> Wanna play dead Lena? It's like he's puppeting like the dead head or whatever. Okay. Well, I am ready to kill this nigga. Who's going first? Uh dice roll. Ooh. Okay. Um I'll roll first. Five versus twenty sided die. And we ha also have to roll for our teammates. Ah oh, shit, we're rolling like full initiative. Okay. Yeah. Uh Five or not five, six or twenty sided die. Hmm. Did I couldn't tell if you were talking or eating. Which one was it? Twenty. Twenty. Okay, cool. So I'm rolling first. I got a fifteen. Ao. Okay, let's right, do. I the right as I took a big ass handful of talkies. <laughs> All right, no problem, my dude. I'm gonna roll for you next, because uh, okay. we're like the team leads. Yeah. You got 18, so it seems like you'll actually be able to move first. Maybe, I mean, we don't know. There are two more rolls. There are numbers higher than 18. Okay, uh, next initiative roll. 19. Uh, mm -hmm. Ayo. Uh, shout out to my boy Winslow. Use your knowledge and wits. That actually is so cool that he has both of those. And then Nick gets 20 and just wins. But we'll see. <laughs> Four. Ayo, we're killing Nick first. Hey. <laughs> he already noticed he'll never go. I guarantee it. Okay. <laughs> um Winslow, um, well, I guess I should say the announcer um, says, let the battle begin. Winslow is the fastest of the four of you. He takes the first move. Winslow decides to use his powers Two, and then I'm just gonna let the story ride out. Do something, Winslow. Do something cool. Hit Nick, like kill Nick, to ascend into the sky to gain advantage and launches an aerial attack. This seems like a good idea. You have two options, attack from the air, or two, <laughs> take to the ground. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of that part. Do, do, do. So some people can fly. Um, so no one said that he flew. He could have jumped. He just went up into the air. <laughs> That's true. Okay, next up is you. Uh, so Winslow's doing like an aerial attack. Okay. <clears throat> what can I do again? Ah, yes. You just said it. That was the last turn, actually. <laughs> uh, Winslow likely ascended into the air using like the water stuff. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What's your name? Jet Black. Okay, of course it is. What's your name? It's like just my name in real life. It's just, it's just my name. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Do 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 do. Oh, 
I'm about to school the shit out of you guys. Shit. You're not ready. Have you seen Super Mario Land? They did like a video where uh, they showed like a tour of Super Mario Land. Not yet. Ah, it looks pretty cool. When they do like far away shots of the park, it does look like the game has like come to life. Um, there's a lot of animatronics. I wonder if uh, if they did like a Sega Land, would that be interesting? Probably not. I, I don't know. I mean, it sounds like you could do the same thing as what you're doing in Super Mario Land. I guess you'd have a bunch of ring-shaped foods. <gasps> they can make a chili dog that has no end because it's like a full fucking circle. A chili ring, a chili dog ring. Yeah, that'd be cool. I noticed that for the Super Mario Land, like, amusement park, um, they have, like, food that's flavored to be, like, mushroom flavor, because Mario eats mushroom, and, like, peach flavor, because Princess Peach. And I'm like, I don't know how many kids are really hyped to eat stuff that tastes like mushroom. Like, is that, like, a normal, like, kid, like, ooh, yeah, a mushroom, oh, this is great. And it, <laughs> it seems like you would just take stuff and make it look like mushrooms. You wouldn't necessarily do the whole, like, it tastes like mushrooms thing. Um, I also noticed, uh, ooh, uh, he's taking his move. Selexis attempts to blast Jet Black with an extreme blast of both light and darkness, aiming to kill him quickly. Oh, crap, I got interrupted by the story summary. It's like, would you like to do the story summary? Um, Selexis attempts to blast Jet Black with an extreme blast of both light and darkness, aiming to kill him quickly. As he launches this attack, Selexis held Umbra Lux Princeps Blast. Wait, he held? It was uh, supposed to say you held. I don't know. I don't know what I'm on No problem. The blast of pure supernova energy slams into your chest and sends you spiraling into a building. It is a good idea, but not great enough for you. You have been struck by the most powerful attack in all of existence, and you are still standing. Eat a dick. It's my turn. I'm ready. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> I like how the game was like, you don't understand. Selexis is hot shit. Like, that was that was the like greatest thing of all times. The Umbra Lux Princeps Blast. And that ain't <laughs> shit. You're about to tap dance on this nigga's head. You were ready. <laughs> okay. You look around for a Mario Invincibility Star so that you can use it to become invincible. I mean, I kind of already am, but also <laughs> uh, to become invincible and allow you to hit Nick because Nick needs to die with a one hit kill attack. Because the Super Mario Star or whatever makes it where like you just run up on people and they just die. And that's what I want to do. And we're in a world that's like a combination of like the greatest video games of all time. I imagine Mario's here. You quickly spot a green mushroom, but it can only be a Mario Invincibility Star if you suck the very soul out of it. What the fuck? I can't defeat the enemy unless I get that green mushroom, you scream, as you fire a blast of lightning at it. I can't do that. Retry. That whole thing was fun. I gotta suck the soul of a mushroom, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> the green mushroom thing, that's an extra life. I'm not shooting lightning into that. Like, I still think it's weird. I'm about to hit up this retry. An extra life doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world. Ooh, you see a little pink star glowing on top of a building. You walk towards it, dodging attacks from all three. I only have two enemies, but Winslow's not joining in to attack me. From all three of your enemies. You leap onto the building and grab the star as you take cover from the shadow's blast. Oh, I get. Well, oh, your blast. That makes sense, uh, actually. Yeah. Because you're shrouded not, in darkness. Yeah. 
it's not super unrealistic unrealistic to think that there might be goombas mm, mm, i don't want it to think winslow's not on my team <laughs> that's what i'm saying like like the three enemies could be goombas since we're in mario and like you're dealing with mario stuff from two of your enemies and a goomba sure i'll add that yeah. i'm dodging a goomba um i got the invulnerability <laughs> stars uh now it's nick's turn now keep in mind kratos when winslow did his turn i was like he takes his move and decides to use his powers to I didn't tell him what to use his powers to do. Don't hit me up with this. Nick negates everybody. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm glad I got the star. I'm about to run up on that ass, dude. I already know I can survive the most powerful attack in existence. And now I got this Mario star. I'm coming for Nick. He's, I don't know why Lena's here. <gasps> If I did get an extra life, I could bring Lena back to life. That's the whole reason why I'm in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got multiple plans. Make the world a better place is so vague. What does Selexus really want? If he wants to make the world a better place, why does he work with an asshole like Nick? Uh, it's it's the ends justify the means. He needs that wish. <laughs> well, you only get one wish. And Nick wants power. What, are you going to make the world a better place and somehow give Nick power at the same time? Nah, I'm going to kill him. That would make the world a better place. <laughs> it's like, Selexis is like, I'm secretly kind of on your side. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an interesting twist. If it just turns into us three against Nick. Yeah, fuck Nick. That's a really good <laughs> idea. That's the thing that he did at the beginning. I, I don't I don't mess with him anymore. <laughs> There's like a injustice uh fight intro where the Joker picks up like a dead security guard and like puppets his mouth. And I'm like, Ooh. man, Nick is straight up just doing the Joker thing. This is his fight intro. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of fight intros, uh, if anybody here knows how to program like Mugen, I keep talking about like fan art. If someone made a fan like fighting game using like Mugen with all these characters, that'd be cool as fuck. Yeah. Oh goodness. Nick wants to gain as much power as possible. So he wants to unleash the most powerful ability he can. Nick uses <laughs> his powers to summon a being known as the Void. The Void can end the universe. Nick sends it forth to do so. The void rapidly grows and soon consumes the planet. Then it consumes the solar system, then the galaxy. It seems that nothing can stop it. Uh, Winslow, you're witty. You're witty as fuck. Stop the void. Stop. <laughs> okay. I think that's a draw. <laughs> Hold on a second, my, my dude. Winslow is fast. <laughs> that's been established already. Winslow is fast, and he knows that he doesn't have a lot of time to stop the end of everything. You gotta it keep. It seems that nothing can stop it. <laughs> it seems. Winslow, however, <laughs> Winslow possesses the knowledge of a god of no of as we're just saying the knowledge of a god of knowledge, but the knowledge of a god of like intellect and wisdom, shit like that. Synonyms. He possesses the god of synonyms <laughs> and is supernaturally witty. He uses, well, I shouldn't say he, it'll get confused. Winslow uses his supernatural knowledge and wit combined with his water manipulation abilities to try and stop the void by okay hit it up winslow you gotta save the whole fucking universe real quick before we can end this fight wait did i add a period am i a fucking idiot did I add a, 
How's he gonna, okay, he supernaturally speedily rushes the void with a blast of water, hoping to push it back. He fails, the void absorbs him, and doing so gains power. The void continues to grow. The lives of those not involved in the battle for the fate of reality end. Ooh, not us. Not, not we're the ones who were in the battle for the fate of reality. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I didn't plan for all of this. <laughs> Okay, Kratos, your move. Show your loyalty to not Nick. He's going to end the universe. You're trying to be good. This is against your thing. This is evil as fuck. This is the void. Wow, do you see the judge bot? <laughs> you, you win slow is fast, but the void is just too powerful. You gain five points. <laughs> you win slow is fast. I couldn't have said it better myself, judge bot. <laughs> At least add a comma there. You, comma, Winslow is fast. <laughs> but then the it doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Um, I is good or I English than you. Mm, very much yes. All right. Um, it's your move, Seluxus. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nick is an ass. He's proved it multiple times. Excuse me. Mm. Yes, betray Nick for the greater good. <laughs> Eliminate your ally. The purple team is stronger without him. And his hacks bullshit. <laughs> do, 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 do it. Do, 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 do it. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Betray him. Betray your ally. <laughs> Wait a minute, what happened to Lena's body? <laughs> How can I give Lena a one-up if the void has consumed her? Hold on a second. I just realized I'm on a team by myself now. Because Winslow got swallowed by the void. I'm Tyler. Okay. Do, do. I'll be honest, Nick's powers are not bad. Like, he has, like, a, a pretty solid array. What's his uh, other ability other than creating stuff from his mind and negating? Oh, the meteorological awareness thing. Yeah, he can tell when it's about to rain. <laughs> That power still seems like it's not, like, too bad. Like, yeah, I, just, it's just funny comparative to his other powers. Like, why would, I just be, why would I just be able to tell if it can rain when I can literally just make it rain? That's true. But In I mean, multiple ways. <laughs> if he needs to, like, have an umbrella, right? How's he going to know that he needs an umbrella? He can just say, don't rain. <laughs> <laughs> he can make stuff can come out of his it. mind. That's not the same as manipulating reality. And that's another thing. If he, all he has to do to know if he needs an umbrella is look outside and then, oh, he can summon an umbrella. Yeah, but what if he can't easily look outside? Maybe he's in like an underground bunker or something. Well, then why would he need an umbrella if he was in an underground bunker? Because he's about to leave the underground bunker, but he doesn't want to get rained on, and there aren't windows. Yeah. Wi-Fi's out. You can't Google it. That death, that deadly rain. Deadly? It could be acid rain. He's not immune to that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's a good point. He doesn't I mean, have, he like, defensive abilities. Yeah. Well, I'm about to take advantage of that. So Lexus attempts to call upon the powers of wind, earth, light, and darkness to create a beam so powerful it could destroy anything. Using four of the six elements of life. Is that math right? Wind, earth, light, and dark. Yeah, that's four. Four of the six elements of life. So Lexus unleashes this blast upon Nick, attempting to obliterate him. He fails, and the void grows stronger. The void absorbs him as well, getting even more power. Oh shit, all I gotta do is beat Nick. Nick unleashes the void in a fit of rage. The end of reality is here. Not yet, bitch. Hey, this is for Lena. 
I love how you say, all I gotta do is be <laughs> oh, That's all you have to do. Yes. Like, it's so easy. You rush Nick using the power bestowed to you by the Mario Invincibility Star. You guys forgot. <laughs> you know yeah. why my power didn't work? Because makes... I didn't. Because I didn't yell anything out. Oh, you should. You should have named it something. You should have. <laughs> now I wish I could go back and see if that would actually change anything. Oh, well, it's too late. You gotta absorb by the void. <laughs> <laughs> you rush Nick and use the power bestowed to you by the Mario Invincibility Scar that you grabbed at the beginning of the round, well, of the battle, to attempt a punch Nick with a one-hit kill attack. You yell, This is for Lena. And check this out, I learned this. Biatch, it doesn't know that biatch is a bad word. This is for <laughs> Lena Biatch. And then I'm gonna say, Final Strike. Mario, <laughs> hold up, this is actually gonna be great. Final Strike. Super, Super Mario Brothers Smash Ultimate Galaxy Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bang Sunshine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you punch Nick with such force that it ends existence. <laughs> yo, yo, niggas can't exist. We did it. Uh, uh, did we really do? I mean, you ended existence, period. Watch so this. you kind of did this, you kind of did like worse than what he did. I know I'm that much of a god, but I have the invincibility star. I how am I gonna get killed? See, so check this I mean, shit out. The invincibility. Hold on, but here's the thing though: can the invincibility star protect Mario if the developers just click the delete button on his character? I've never seen it happen, so I don't know. Maybe <laughs> you check to see if the invincibility star protected you from the end of existence it is an invincibility star it'd be interesting if it was like no <laughs> <laughs> no the star was deleted too oh wait i said start it did not the <laughs> end damn <laughs> <laughs> draw <laughs> Uh, good game. What do you think of this one? That's just so blunt how it did it. Like, <laughs> no, you fucking idiot. It did it. <laughs> just take that L like a man. That is a hard L. Um, which? What do you think is the most epic ultimate volition battle we've had like so far? Um, I think it was this one because it because of how it went down. Like it. It went outside of the battle, and it became like a fight for like the fate of the world. Sure. I mean, the world's ended, but okay. Well, uh, let's like tier list it because this is episode like four, right? Yeah. So if this is the most epic one. Like, let's say this is S tier. What's the A tier one? Um, I think probably shit. What have we done before? Um, okay. So I know the, the ghost one. The ghost one, as of now, is set on A tier, but if I remember the other ones, and they're crazier. So you think the ghost one is A tier? We had one where we were stuck in a time loop. Right, that's the ghost one. That's the ghost one? No, 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 that's not the ghost one. The ghost one is where you shoot Whoa. yourself with the mana beams. Yeah, now I remember. Sorry, yeah, the time loop one. Sorry, I was thinking that it took place in a haunted house. That's why I was getting them mixed up. Ah. So that the time loop one is A tier. Okay, time loop's A tier. So then where do we rank the ghost one? Um... I don't know. What was the first one? What were our abilities in the very first one? The first one was interesting because we played as each other with random abilities and then we switched places and then we played as the other people against each other. 
Right. So, so isn't this like fifth or sixth episode then? Because we have the one where we are fighting you and me against the AI. Well, this couldn't be the fifth or sixth one because the first one we did was two fights. The second one we did, I think, was two fights. The third one was really long, so it was one fight. And then this is the fourth one. Got it. Which is also really long. <laughs> Um, so we're currently trying to figure out what's bottom tier. Is the ghost one? Well, we already ranked the ghost one, didn't we? No, we haven't. Actually, no. we still need to rank like three things. Yeah, we, we, we don't know actually the bottom tier yeah. yet. Um, I'd say the next tier is the one where it was you and me against the AI. That one was pretty crazy. Okay, okay. I mean, I admit... CNN Paint Man, you know, it's pretty wild. <laughs> CNN The Paint Man, very wrestler in name. Um, you think that's crazier than the ghost thing? I mean, I guess it was because they took a hell of a beating. Yeah. Um, so and now, then I'd say the ghost one is next, and then the first one, bottom tier. So you're like the first one. Well, the first one was also us getting our bearings, but you're like that one's like boo. That one is the most vanilla, I guess, of everything yeah. we've done. Like, not necessarily boo. Like, it was really fun and it's interesting, just comparative to the other ones. Nothing, spe nothing especially stood out as crazy. That's fair. I get that. Um, so, we're going to end the episode here. Before I do the outro, um, and by the way, you still have time for us to do like one more after this, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, because remember, this one was almost an hour. So if we take yeah. another intermission afterwards, then we would start at like 4.40, and then we'd end at like 5.40. Yeah, that's, that's an hour. Uh, yeah, we got time then. Okay, yeah. cool. So uh, before I do the outro, Kratos, you got you to gotta plug your stuff. Tell us about your stuff. Um, subscribe to Seluxus. That's my channel name. I'm starting up AI Dungeon 2 a lot more soon. Uh, so if you like seeing me play AI Dungeon 2 on here, definitely go check that out. Um, give some support to the series that I've started where I am playing as a fairy hero. I go around healing people and saving people from like monstrous creatures and all that. It's awesome. I got two episodes so far. I will keep that going if you guys are interested. Go check it out, show some, some support, and then I'll continue it. Most deaf. So make sure you guys go in the description box below. I'll have a link to Selexis' channel and make sure that you subscribe, like his videos, leave comments, tell him how much you love his content. Uh, do you have a Discord yet for your YouTube? No. Okay, well, if he makes one of those, go join that. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring that notification bell, uh, ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we do these videos. You should host your friend, your boy. Jump like the one only here with... Seluxus. Logging out and stay tuned for daily AI Dungeon 2. AI Dungeon 2. Check it out.